So let's say you have a web application that you want to serve it over HTTPS. So what do you need exactly certificate? And this is what today's topic will be about. Let's be honest, we all need them, but it's always a pain at the beach, isn't it? So what is actually the alternative to manage the certificates by hand? It is using a forward proxy. This is where the Nginx proxy manager comes into play. The Nginx proxy manager is a project based on Nginx with the sole job of acting as a forward proxy and manager certificate. The best part is it comes with a ready to use Docker image. Let's go. The video will mainly be divided into three chapters where we'll show how to set up GitLab as an exemplary service and the Nginx proxy manager itself using a simple docker compose. So let's go over the compose file very quickly. We define a service called GitLab using the official GitLab community edition from the GitLab Hub repository. Set the hostname to localhost as in this context the service will only be available in the local network. Set the environment variables as shown in the following, which are necessary for setting the later on external URL as well as the SSH port. Expose the ports for HTTP, HTTPS and SSH and if you want persistence, bind the volumes as shown here. Setting up NPM is comparable, exposing the ports for HTTP, 80, 81 for the admin interface and 443 for HTTPS. Of course, bind volumes for NPM persistency. Afterwards, you are ready to run the docker compose up command or alternatively the stack deploy command if you want to deploy it as a docker service. Have in mind that although the containers are showing up pretty fast, the starting process might take quite a time especially in the case of such a huge project like GitLab. So have in mind to take a look at the logs while the containers are starting. After several minutes, the amount of ready logs in the container seem to shrink and there are no indications for errors from what I see. So we need to run a command inside the container itself next to retrieve the initial default password in order to be able to log into GitLab. Feel free to exec into the container and run the command there or to use the one liner I used. As you can see GitLab runs on the specified port but currently still using HTTPS as there are no certificates configured such that HTTPS could be served. This is where we come to our next chapter where I will show you how to generate self-signed certificates create your own certificate authority and how to configure the Nginx proxy manager itself. I'm using the OpenSSL command line tool to generate the CA, certificate authority, to act as a fake authority that signed my certificate. Afterwards, I generate the certificate for the service itself, signing the certificate with the CA file we just created. Of course, in this context, be more conscientious than me and take care of the parameters being asked during the interactive mode of OpenSSL. If you did so correctly and not did a typo when you entered the CA password, you should see two files, one for the key and one for the certificate of the CA. Now we have mainly two tabs in the Nginx proxy manager which are important for us. First the SSL tab where we configure the certificates and the second is the proxy host tab. Let's start with the first one. Here you have to point npm to the key and the certificate itself you created for the service. That was already it for the SSL part. Now switch to the proxy host tab and configure the proxy mechanism itself. Define a free to use domain or subdomain which you can then make point to the respective servers. So in my case I make npm point gitlab.localhost to the gitlab service on the specific port it runs on. Then tell npm which certificate to use to which here of course is the one we just created. Specify parameters like whether SSL should be enforced and do not forget to save everything appropriately. Last but not least, you will remember that we created the CA itself, which we used to sign the certificate. As we created the CA ourselves and it is not a well-known CA, we need to convince the browser that this authority is legitimate. This step is crucial and important, otherwise you will see a lot of alerts in your browser when visiting your domain. Yeah, and that's actually it. Refresh your browser session, maybe delete your cookies and you should have enabled SSL now when visiting the respective domain. Do not forget that depending on whether or not you enabled force SSL, you still are able to visit the service without SSL as well. This is where we start now with the last chapter of this video, dealing with how NPM helps you with setting up less encrypt certificates for your public services. For this purpose, I want to set up the graph CMS on my remote server for which a Docker image exists just like in case of GitLab. So without diving too deep in the compose file again, the npm service remains overall the same. I just switched GitLab with graph and started them on my server just like I did with GitLab. 
Now head over to the proxy manager and go to the certificates tab. This time choose let's say encrypt instead of custom and in the first field type the desired domain or domains, respectively subdomain or subdomains you want to apply SSL to. Click the button to test the reachability, which should be pretty fast as everything is set up correctly. Then agree to the TLC and say OK. I will not go into further details with respect to the DNS challenge in this context. Now give it a couple of seconds or maybe minutes and everything should be set up correctly. After that we're almost done. Head over to the proxy host and point the respective domain to the service again, choosing this time your freshly generated SSL certificate of course. And that's it, pretty easy and convenient if you ask me, especially kind of more in case of Let's Encrypt certificates. I hope you guys liked it, do not forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment if something is unclear. Feedback is appreciated as well of course and let me know if there are special topics you are interested in. Give MPM a try and cheers. Here we go.